Hello, um, and welcome to my station once again, Cool Econometrics. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to tr transform uh, CSV files to spatial weight matrix using Stata. So let's assume you want to generate a spatial weight matrix that is not based on uh, contiguity, on borders, or maybe even on distance. Uh, you could do that uh, by using the SPMAT function package of functions. Uh, for in Stata or the SP matrix in Stata, but let's assume you want to generate um, a, a spatial weight matrix where you have uh, the number of, um, for example, migration from one community to another community or from one uh, city to another city. So you have these figures and you want to use this to kind of generate a spatial matrix that is based on uh, migration networks or economic networks. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, how you could do it on Excel and then uh, put it on Stata to be able to generate the spatial weight for you. So let's get going immediately. So this is my file here. If you want to do this on CSV, you must make sure that your uh, spatial weight is just like the standard spatial weight format, the way you construct it in terms of the matrix. And then you, you. so on the, you could see on the um, horizontal axis here, I have the, number of cities, eight cities, and I also have the corresponding number, same corresponding number of cities on my vertical axis here. So uh, each of these city, you could just see their position on the matrix and you could see, for example, uh, in this particular box is the number of persons that moved from uh, city one to city two, nine persons, and you could see the number of persons that move, for example, from city five to city six, nine per three persons um and of course one thing that is very clear is no there is no self migration so all these diagonals are all zeros so let us have all these figures and please make sure this is complete if it is not complete if a, if a number is missing uh in this box it's gonna uh, bring out an error message when you take it uh, up when you put it in in stata so i've got this already now and uh i save it as a csv file it's already saved now let's go to my stata so this is my stata here. i'll just show you the code that i used in doing it and i'll explain the code to you so of course you know what clear how means so i import the the csv data that i've just uh, i've just constructed this is it i called it migration.csv and then you use this function to uh to get the data in so now i have my data in you could see it's here uh please remember when you are labeling this nothing should be here this first cell should be empty and uh, that you shouldn't you should just name uh kind of uh name the, the the other remaining cells with the numbers of ids of the the observational units that you are interested in so here i have set as kind of tone if i look at my data now you could see that it's the same thing without any header. Okay, so I go back to my code. I tell Stata to drop uh, to drop in one. Let's see what that does for me. So you could see that um, that first empty space observation has kind of been been deleted. So basically, the first line has been deleted. All right, so now let's see what happens. I tell Stata to count and then I create a local to save the number of counts. So that has been saved. And then I tell to Stata to restore the one uh, before uh, what the, so it, it's, it's been, it's like giving me an empty space where that first observation used to be. So this is the first observation that was half before and now it's, it's giving me the so the, the these empty spaces here used to be remember the the uh the the number of cities or the ids of the cities which is the same as what you have on the vertical axis but it's missing now so i'm telling stata to please uh give me that again but now rather call it this rather than also, also you, you need to do this together okay so yeah so remember you need to you need to run this together you don't just run them one after the other okay so now let's see what happens here we go so i have eight so i'm telling you this is very important you, you, stata kind of puts that for you you run the code to stata that this tells you the number of special units you have so eight special units and each of the special units ids are here and this uh so these are the special units their ids here 
and we shall want to eat as in my own definition it could be anything and then uh you create a local and then you do the other you do the same thing for the other for the other uh special units and if you run this code uh, let's run it and see what we've got so you have something like this and then yeah you've just simply transformed what you've transformed um uh you've replaced the v1 and the v's by v1 v1 and v1 v2 v3 like we had before now i want to export i want to export this file back to um a csv file uh in this case I've, i'm changing the name to migration exports okay so i export it so it's saved on my on my um directory so whatever your direct whatever directory you choose it to be saved there and then i use the sp match format now to import the the saved uh file that i see as the file that i've just done and i ask it to import it and then to roll normalize it if you don't want to roll normalize it you can remove this and save it as w as special with w you could call it anything you could call it whatever you want to call this software but i call it w so i do that and yeah so you see it's created special weight has been created to see that I can summarize. Let me see the summary of my spatial weight. So this is correct. So this is my spatial weight. You can see eight by eight matrix. And um, so yeah, and I can use this spatial weight W to now do my spatial regressions, uh, my spatial analysis on Stata. I hope you've been able to learn something um, uh, very useful today. Please don't fail to click the like button, subscribe, and you will be the among the first to hear when we be notified when we have new videos uh, on how to apply software in carrying out simple econometric analysis. Till we meet again, do have a wonderful time. Bye.